That be it, man. Bring him up. Appreciate you, dog. Oh my God, you buy me a McCall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me, man. <laughs> You're like my favorite athlete ever. Oh, for real? Yeah. Better than Troy Half? Troy? He make Troy look like a little bitch. Oh, yeah. oh. We don't we don't talk bad about people, man. We we uplift them. You know what I mean? Like we try and bring people up because like because in, in my life, like people people always talk bad about me. You know, so. It, it, it really tore me down. It, it, made me, it made me feel really bad. <laughs> but I had to wipe those tears and overcome, you know? And I had to be my own mentor. So now I don't want anybody else to go through with that. I want to be a role model. I want to uplift people. So that's, that's I, I feel like that's my purpose in life. Um, my bad, I'm sorry, bro. I just wanted to tell you that you're the coat. The, the what now? The coat. Coat, you mean the goat? No, C-O-A-T. Coolest of all time. <laughs> hey, stop filming real quick. Hey man, what, what, what is you talking about? Talking about some coat stuff. I ain't doing this for cool points, all right? I'm Bobby mother McCall. I'm the GOAT. I work the hardest. You feel me? No one does anything better than me. And if y'all don't like that, y'all can suck my dick. Yeah, skedaddle. Skedaddle. Bobby got a long one, so there's enough for the haters to stand in line. Oh, that's good. No, this they got good. you in 4K. They got you in Super 4K Ultra HD. Like, so what do I do? Send out this apology tweet. You'll be good. You couldn't have just text me this, so I could copy and paste it. Like, you just... no, because if I would have done that, you wouldn't have read it. Facts. Ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Nicole. I love you, Bobby. I love you too. All right now, uh, I'll sign a titty. I ain't afraid. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Bobby, how does it feel to catch the game-winning touchdown on your birthday that clinches a playoff position? Well, first of all, I'd like to uh, I'd like to thank God for this because without him, none of this would have been possible. Amen. You know, D. Cox, he was giving me trouble all game, so. I'm really glad that, you know, we got that W and I got the touchdown, especially on my birthday. Thank you for that. You can come to the after party if you want. Right there. You being the better wide receivers in the game, how are you able to take such a beating by Cox? Yo, pause my guy. <laughs> Look, I don't know where you from, where you came from, where you hail from, but where I'm from, that stuff you just said is mad sus. Like, you gotta say pause at least. Say pause, pause, my guy. <laughs> oh, come on, y'all can't be offended by that. Y'all offended by, they offended by that? Man, y'all some pusses for real. Yeah. Um, the glasses? For real? It makes it more sad. <laughs> All right. Um. Hey everyone, uh, thank you for coming. Um, first of all, I'd like to start off by saying that I'm sorry for the things that I said last week if I offended anybody last Sunday. I'm, 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 I'm an ally, okay? I'm an ally to all communities and all sexual preferences. Whatever you're into, that's, that's what you're into and I support that. I stepped out of line. I really did step out of line and I'm not trying to make any excuses, but I am under a lot of stress right now. Some of you may know my uh, biological father has resurfaced into my life after being missing for 22 years. And he's been on talk shows. He's been saying things about me that aren't true. And he's been trying to extort me for money. Bobby Sr., if you're watching this, I want you to know that you really are dead to me. You're dead to me. I want you to crawl into the nearest fiery pit with gasoline underwear. And I want you to burn. I want you to burn. I ain't done, bitch. I want you to burn. If I see you on the streets, it's on sight. <laughs> Bye.
Bobby's going to come up and say a few words. Thank you, Miss Linda. Um, Miss Linda asked me to come up here and say a few words for you. Those of you that don't know, I am Bobby McCall. I am uh, Bobby Sr.'s estranged son. Um, I know some of y'all have seen what I said on national TV, and um, I didn't think he would actually follow through with it, you know? Like, where did he even find underwear filled with gasoline? And why did he crawl into that fiery pit? Why did he do it? Why did he crawl into that pit? That's on him, if you ask me, but that's not what we're here for today. Oh, he was my favorite DJ. I'm here to apologize. And I'm going to give the funding for this whole entire funeral. And um, also donate $50,000 to each of the family members. Hallelujah! Praise God. Oh, they God. Not good. Who put this in the notes? 50000 Won't he do it? Your father had seven children. F them kids. I ain't, what, what you, I gotta pay for that? Man, see, that's why I start messing with this family. All right? All y'all just some blood-sucking vampires trying to make me drive, bro. Nah, they wanna suck something, suck like I don't get paid enough for this. Yeah, you do. I'll double it right now. I'll double it right now. Yes, we've received all of your letters and tweets, but I assure you that my client has already apologized to the members of the Revival Baptist Church, all seven of Mr. McCall's children, the vampire community, and those female canines who have reached out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But before I answer any other questions, my client has one last thing he'd like to say. Yeah, man, listen, I'm just trying Dear fans, this week I learned a valuable lesson. Your actions out outside of work can and will affect your job. This is why I am now a member of the AMA. <laughs> the Anger Management Alliance. The Anger Management Alliance will re res res eradicate. What? Eradicate. Eradicate. Eradicate? Who put eradicate in? Bro, I don't even talk like that, bro. What does eradicate even mean, bro? Bro, no, y'all can't be doing me like this. All right, okay, it's cool. Let's just run it. Can we, can we run this back? What? We live? Like live live? Bro, y'all really set me up. Like, on God, y'all set me up, bruh. All right, can we just cut? Like, what? Bro, I said stop filming. Are you slow or are you dumb? Nah, bro, I ain't playing with you. Man, I'm out, bro. Yes, Bobby McCall has been temporarily suspended from the team, but he will be back by Super Bowl Sunday. As you saw last night, he checked himself into a Los Angeles AM facility where they specialize in dealing with celebrities of his caliber. Now, I can assure you that... Bob, Bobby just went live on TikTok. Man, forget this rehab, all right? This old, this old lady, she gonna tell me, like, she the nurse or whatever, she gonna be like, oh, you can't smoke kush on a rooftop. I'm like, Trick, do you know who I am? I'm Bobby mother McCall. I can smoke wherever I want. And we've been legal in California for years. So what you talking about? What you talking about, old that lady? And then, and then forget my teammates who ain't even check in on me. They know I'm the best wide receiver in the mother game. I'm the best. I'm Bobby mother McCall. You feel me? I got enough money to start my own league. So fellas, DM me if you interested. Let me know your sizes. I'm going to suit you up. And for the haters, y'all can suck my d And Bobby got a long one. So there's enough for the haters to stand in line. No, no. That's a long Subscribe!